Hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome to our channel. Thanks for watching. Where we upload two to three times a week. We talk about all kinds of things. Family, relationship, marriage, trending topics. You name it. We talk about it. Pretty much. And today we will be doing some, what are they called? Trivia questions. Also, we'll be following this video up, part two, where our family asks us questions from their perspective. Definitely turn on the notification bell. Don't miss it. Trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Without further ado, let's get right into it. You wanna start? Why not? Men go first, right? I mean, it's a, what is what is it called? This is a new generation. Everybody got the same No, words. ladies go first, you go. <sighs> Fine. If you were lost on an island, what would be your first plan of action? Shelter. Shelter. Build, yeah, you cut down the tree and shelter. Okay. Yeah. What's your plan of action? Okay, so first off, I'm looking for food. I'm getting all my food together. Once I have my food, I'm gonna make sure I have some clean water. Once I have my food and water, then personally, I would go after my shelter. Wait, wait, an island doesn't have Korean barbecue. Ty! That's I'm not talking about that's Korean that's barbecue. That's I'm talking about my plan of action. Not Tell me what you eat. What do you eat yesterday? I like vegetables. What do you, you, you eat for dinner? Yesterday, I ate food. Okay. Anyway, your question turn. <laughs> what was your worst food experience? My worst food experience? Okay, listen. This is the reason why I stopped going to McDonald's. I went to McDonald's when we lived like in Florida and Tampa. We lived in Tampa at one point. And they had the riblet, um, and this was like the one thing that I had tried. You just had bad riblet. No, I, no. This was the one thing I had tried like years before, and I was like, I'm gonna get me a little riblet. Yeah. No. Disclaimer: We love McDonald's. No, I'm not loving it. First off, I did not love it. I was on the toilet. <laughs> I stuff it was bubbling for like two days. So are you campaigning against the, the Rebellion in America's I just, I'm just letting you know that that was my worst food experience. What was yours? You just had that moment. Wrong what? McDonald's, wrong day. It was probably the wrong McDonald's. You probably had the last Rebellion. I probably had the one that was left on the counter and they weren't the sure last. whose food it was and they sent the wrong order with the wrong car and they thought that was mine because it was probably a single Rebellion in the back because that's all I ordered that day and a cup of water because I didn't want to really have a lot of sugar because I was having that. And I think that might be what happened. But anyway. I wonder if the viewers, are y'all loyal McDonald's? I'm not loyal McDonald's. to McDonald's like that no more. <laughs> what was yours? Mine was, Thanksgiving of 2021 is when there Ty. is cooked Ty. green bean Ty. casserole. Ty. Ty. You know Ty. what I'm saying? It's funny. Ty. You know, with Ty. green bean casserole, there's two main components. There's green beans and then there's an onions that go on Let top. me just mention that what he's about right. to reference You're not letting me was, talk. Let me. You about to what? slander my cooking. On no. YouTube. Wait, you... You slandered your own cookie. I think it was it was you it was. And, and the person who edits the video who combined did this combination of food together. Because what happened was listen the food. What had happened was we had accidentally used everything was perfectly fine with the green beans and ingredients. It wasn't that it was the, the what was the, the those Frenchies onion topping the crispy one. Yeah, we got an off-brand version. And it was not what it was you supposed preach. to be. When no, 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 preach. no, no. It was expired. Yeah. Okay, guys, it was expired. Yeah. And when we preach, go preach, 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 preach. You made the casserole. You put these expired onions on there. This Melanie. This Melanie. I, I come didn't home. Didn't smell I come home until from it work. was cold. Hey, so I come home from work. The food's all set up and everything. And I and I go in there all greedy like. Make the little little taste of the green bean casserole first one. Nobody touched it except old little old Ty. <laughs> here he here I go. First off, I take my he was full the greedy one. Yeah. No, I no, went, no, ah, no, no. And the, was, the onion was Listen. it was so grotesque. 
no, you don't no, understand. No, no. He was the greedy one, like he said. It wasn't that nobody touched it. It was the fact that he was the first one. We hadn't even said Grace yet, who started eating his food and running through all the plates. Oh, so they, I'm just a taste tester. Long story short, something stunk in the house. It was a green bean casserole. We didn't know what that smell was. We figured out later that the onions were bad. We bought bad onions. And, and that's where I'm gonna rest. So when you took out the onion, you just- I I'm leaving it there. Rest your case then. Next I, I, question then. Let's, next question. Next question. You establish your own country and you are the ruler. What is the first rule you put in place? Mm, everybody share. I think in this world we're a little bit, we like our stuff. I think we, we in school, we, we meant to like kind of calculate, like when we learn subtraction, mm -hmm. that's not sharing. We only know addition. We never learn a subtraction. So that's how we're going to start this whole movement of sharing. It's just addition. Right? Okay. No, you have to follow me. No, right? I did. I, you lost me for two seconds, but I caught up. Keep okay. going. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Maybe you should start with taking things away and showing how nice it is. Or actually do the two at the same time. I think that's a really good idea. Like real world experiences with the math that we're, lear that we're learning. Exactly. Alright, I like that, I like right. that. What was your new role to the world be? Let me be honest, I really think of my own answers when I thought of these questions, but <laughs> if I established a new world, my first rule would be... Huh, I think I want something with compassion. There's not enough compassion in the world. I don't know what the rule would be itself, but something around compassion. Everyone seems to lack it a little bit now. We always assume that somebody has an ulterior motive. Yeah. So I wonder if there's like a way to have like a compassion moot court or something like anytime that you have an issue or a disagreement with somebody that there's a mediator who looks at it with compassionate eyes. Actually, no, never mind therapy. <laughs> Just explain therapy. Yeah, yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Everybody, everybody's mandated to go to therapy. I don't care how many times you go a month, but everybody gotta go to therapy at least once a month. You're not gonna go to jail if you don't, but... I mean... I mean, it should be something like, you know, required. Just required. Everybody needs that in their life, because if you think that we're perfect, we really are not. A therapist is needed, for yeah. sure, in today's world, until we figure out more about the mind. I was gonna say, because everyone has like unique perspectives and unique experiences and very different ways of life. So depending on how you were brought up will depend on what trauma you may have been exposed to. And like, it's not a competition of who had the worst experiences, who had the worst trauma. It's just that we all, to some degree, scientifically proven, have experienced something that kind of caused us a little bit of trauma. Sure. trauma or change the way that we think or view the world when i thought of that question i thought of um if i ruled the world that's the uh, song that i thought yeah. too i was really playing in my head like if i rule the world i'm not gonna make it happen to see the videos guys i, I promise <laughs> my question is how did your first ever date go first ever yeah first ever it was wasn't really a date, date, but it was with my best guy friend in middle school that everyone thought that we were dating, but we never dated because we both, and look at the jokes on me, we both were like, I don't want to date a girl that's taller than me, I don't want to date a guy that's shorter than me, and look at me, you're shorter than me. If you guys don't know that Tyrell is shorter than me. What and we have inches? It's about two. Um, <laughs> we went to watch Shrek in the movie theaters. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah, we went to watch Shrek oh, and my mom good. called me out early because she didn't want to wait on us no more, so. That sounds about right. It is about right. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? So my first date was, you know, it, it was with a, with a woman, a girl, it's in middle school, and she was she was taller than me, so the oh, trend. Oh, yeah. the trend continued. Yeah, yeah. It's an it's a interest, actually. It's a prerequisite for time to <laughs> <laughs> and like with this skate ring, I got a little necklace and everything, and like I had to reach up, put the necklace on. Like three minutes went by, I was just. Tangling, you were trying to, you were trying tangling. to unclick it in the back. I was tangling. You can't, you couldn't see it, could you? That's a, I'm not throwing shade. I'm just saying, like for three minutes, the latch wasn't clicking, so she was that tall. No, no, it was that I couldn't do it. 
I can't do it. Like, you know, it's hard. Right, the Men latch. Men know that it's hard. The latch, right? Yeah, it's like, hard. Like, what's on the back of me? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, and then she was taller than you. No, what? I can see it. It's just hard. <laughs> Next question. Is it my turn? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch it up a bit. This or that? Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Ooh. All right, so it has to be between Crackle Barrel pancakes or Waffle House waffles. Those are not the best pancakes I've ever had. I've had the best pancakes okay, I've had. Okay, Frost. Right, yeah, Sasa it's a brunch Sasa place Frost. that we've been. All right. That's the best pancakes okay, I've had. Okay, okay, Sasa Crackle Barrel. All right, there's a restaurant called Sasa Frost in West Palm or Waffle House. I'm gonna go with Waffle House. I was about to say Waffle House for me, waffles. waffles. I would eat that over the pancakes, I can't even lie. Agree. Where we live now, there's no Waffle House. <laughs> Here too. What's the most embarrassing moment from high school? You know, if I answer this question, we're wrapping this up right here. Is this the, is you this don't have the, to get the details. Is this one of the games where you can take a shot? Um, you can name it with keywords like trash can pee school. Tyrell, shut up! You answer the question! Let me be honest, I did have an embarrassing moment at high school. Let me tell you what happened. It's not my fault. That's where we're gonna start. Once upon a time, I went to a school. School, you know, was a little ratchet, and now it's a little reform. There was a code red, because apparently the night before there was some drama at a party. Um, I didn't go to this party. I lived in the gated community. I didn't know anything about a house party. It's a storybook. Get to the fire. Come on, go go to the. I have to give context to why I did this. Long story short, somebody pulled out a pistol. They pepper sprayed out of all the students. I, it didn't matter who you were. It was like the cop was like shh shh shh, like he was terrified. Um, actually, same cop that cop that shot Trayvon Martin. I think he was my school resource officer. So you probably will figure out what high school I went to at the time. Um, what? Yeah. You didn't look that up. No, I know this. How you know? Because he was the cop at my high school. He was Why am I the first one to know this? Like, you just don't pay attention. Well, they locked us all in our classrooms. Um, the teacher wasn't supposed to physically block the door, but she was blocking the door. But I was like, listen, I need to pee. And I'm like, I don't really care who's out there. I don't really care who got what. They already cuffed the kids at this point. They're just trying to, you know, population control, crowd control, the, the students. And she would not let me out of my class in this freshman seminar. So it's like a really cool situation. We got like a couch and stuff. And she would not let me out of the class. And so she physically blocked me and contained me in the room. And I tried to go out the window because we were on the first floor. And she blocked me there too. So it was really a decision of whether I pissed myself in the classroom, in my pants. I'm, a, I'm not a grown woman, but I'm an old enough kid to be like, I'm not going to walk around with piss clothes. My parents aren't coming to get me anytime soon. So I peed in a trash can behind the couch, threw it out the window. The school, the school ended up, you know, talking about it like there was nothing we could do because she really did physically block you. So there's no disciplinary action. Just don't do it again. Was it like don't throw out the pee? Out the it was window? don't pee in the trash can again. That's it. Did you let the whole pee go or did you? Yeah. Just okay. I went behind the couch, I peed in the trash can, threw it out, grabbed the Kleenex out the box. Not gross. Last question. And it is, what's the most surprising thing that you learned about your partner since you got together? So, the most surprising thing that I learned about you, which isn't completely surprising, but when you see action behind it, it is like just super admirable, mm -hmm. is how hardworking, driven, and basically like passion you, passionate you are um, when it comes to our family. Like, he really held it down in our come up years, um, and I stayed home with the baby, and like, he never ever, like, wavered. Like, he, he worked, like, three jobs at one point. Like, it was that's, insane. That's crazy, yeah. You know? um, and I took care of our daughter, because that's all we could afford at the time was rent <laughs> and groceries. Um, so yeah, that's something that I kind of knew, but I didn't see in action. and. It was surprising the lengths that he would go to to really like, you know, take care of me and my daughter. Mm -hmm. 
And, um... Oh, wait, me and our daughter. Oh, you know, a lot of surprises, but, um... I'm not that surprising. I would say that your tenacity to never want to give up and then also want to be able to care for so many people, you know, before yourself is just incredible. Like, it's almost like angel-like, so, mm. yeah. He's so sweet. You call me an angel. I really did like these questions. I feel like they really were like a trip down. Um, Memory lane. Yeah, literally. How did you feel about them? It was nice. It was nice. That's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our next content. It's probably going to be something that you're not going to want to miss. And of course, until next time, Bye.